Christ. What would you do? I no. put the dog in here. Mm -mm. Say hi. We're live. Hi, Steph. <laughs> This is always so weird. Yeah, I can't see any of that, so you're gonna have to. <clears throat> it's cold. Is it? Yeah. With the blanket? No, I'm good. You can come closer. Scoot in. Hmm. <laughs> <clears throat> Hello, everyone. How are you doing, guys? We're doing okay. How are you? Okay. Well, you can't. You want me to scoot this closer so you can read? <clears throat> I just don't Go think ahead. both these chairs fit. <laughs> no, they do. Go ahead. How? I'll come no. from this angle. Yeah, hold on. I'll go back. No, you need to go closer because you can't oh, see. Oh, I can't see that at all. Like that's If you like... come closer, you can. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay. Baby face, wait, baby face, and oh, this is going fast. Y'all are fast. Um, Teddy shut down IG. Yep. Yeah. Did you like that battle? I didn't get to see a lot of it because my IG was messing up. <clears throat> my internet. My I don't know what was going on, but yeah, they cra mine... I think they crashed it. The internet. Oh really? <clears throat> yeah, that's what everyone's saying. It was oh, like hard. Literally, I saw that, yeah. but I didn't know if that meant. They had over, or not. they had over five hundred thousand <clears throat> uh, people on live, which Nikki I, said I think, four million or something. She yeah, Instagram, I think like, that. I think that transfers into. I don't know how they do it, but it it count counts as four million or something. Right. I don't know, but it couldn't handle it. It's crazy. It was good so from gosh, what I saw. Really the stuff that I saw, I was actually watching on uh, Quest Love. I was watching through his IG because I couldn't get it. Mine kept freezing, but I did get to see it. I liked it. I like, uh, yeah, both their stuff. So, but I, I, I will incredible. say I'm, I'm, I'm team baby face they're, for they're both obvious in, reasons. They're both but... incredible, I think. For sure. <clears throat> well, Teddy had Hello a lot. There's a lot of Michael's stuff, right? Teddy has a lot of stuff. Period. He, yeah. Yeah, he has a lot of stuff. Period. Let's chill. That's one of my favorite songs. All right, let's read some of this. Am I, are we caught up? <coughs> no. So no, we're so behind. Let's not get behind. It's just. Uh, um. Oh God, how do we fall so far back? Because they're fast. If we okay. don't answer questions, you might have to re-enter them because we are we're a little slow. <laughs> okay, now we're somewhat caught up. Na Naz Hello from Italy. Naze? Nazi? Italy. What do you say? Buongiorno. Buongiorno. Teddy. Who is Teddy? Teddy Riley. Teddy Riley's a um an incredible producer, New Jack Swing. He created all that. He's written songs for MJ and for Baby or for us uh, almost said Babyface for Bobby Brown. Um uh, for all kinds of people. Just Google him and you'll you definitely know his music, I'm sure. Too big on the 80s or the 90s? Or both? Both. Both. <clears throat> España. Hello. Colombia. London. I sent you that thing that... You saw that thing I sent you about London? That house? Oh, yeah. Yes, yes, yeah. Yes, you did. I like London. I want to move to London. All right, Bree. Happy 421. It's funny because everyone's... Um, when you do that, when you post happy 421, do you know mm -hmm. everyone... I get tech, happy birthday, Texas. There's the Do you dog. know how many birthday no. Texas I got today? <laughs> no, but your birthday is in five days. Yeah. Do you want <clears throat> to talk about happy 421? If you want to, sure. <clears throat> Go ahead. I, you can start. How are you, Brianna and Tara? We are good. Go ahead, Tara. You want me to talk? Sure. Should you I can go say whatever from you'd like to say. July 8th? <clears throat> no. <laughs> Why not? No. I'm not, no. I'm not doing that. Why? Because that's like, no. That's personal. <clears throat> okay, that well then you talk personal. if you like. Can you sing for us? They always ask you to sing. Hey, from Poland. How you doing, Terrell? 
I'm doing okay. Thank you. Brazil, How are you? Brazil, to the bang. Talk to the bang. House. Charlin. Hi, Charlin. I don't understand house. You don't know what that means. Are you scared about turning 40 this weekend? Hell no. I'm not scared to turn 40. 40 is just a number. It's more about your mentality and where you are. But I don't... Everyone makes a big deal about the big 4-0 and the big 5-0 and the big 6-0 and all that. But no, I don't... No, it's just another... It's a number. It's a new milestone, which I'm glad to to reach. The boys. The boys are good. They're doing uh, Zooms right now and homework. Hi from Germany. Josie? Josie? Is that correct? Hi, Josie. I did Josie. not see. <clears throat> okay. Favorite song at the moment? And it's 11.57 p.m. here. Favorite song at the moment? I like that song Play Catch Up by Chris Brown. Of oh, course. Shocking. shocking. <laughs> I love that song. Play Catch Up. That's one of my favorite songs right now. Uh, Kids are well. Uh, what other favorite this? songs do you have? <clears throat> oh, is that? I like that girl. Was, I, don't, I don't know if I'm saying her name right, but um, Snow. S-N-O-H. Snow Allegra, I think her name is. Do you know who that is? I think I know who you're talking yeah. about. Yeah, Snow. I really like her stuff. She's really good. Who else? Look, I'm like looking at my phone because I'm really bad with stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Ugh, my tummy. Do you hear my tummy? Do you have a favorite movie? Is it The Notebook, Brie? <clears throat> I do love The Notebook. Is that your favorite? Mm, it's one of my favorites. 3T <clears throat> forever. Tease me. Tease me and fire. There you go. Uh, what's your favorite movie? Do you guys hear just, my stomach? Your movie is, <laughs> your movie is Notebook, Brie? Mm -hmm. I like Notebook. I mean, I don't know if I have like one ultimate favorite. Sex in the City, maybe. That's your favorite movie? Yeah, it's a movie. Did you know that? I know There's it's a movie. You just watch it almost every night. I do. But that's your favorite movie. I don't know. There's some no. I like there's so many movies, but it is one of my favorites. I don't know if mm. I have like one ultimate favorite movie. Wow. Favorite book. Um, The Alchemist is one of my favorite books. I haven't read that. I need to read that. So I have it right there. It's really good. Um, I'm reading Obama, uh, Michelle Obama's book right now. And how do you like that? I like it. I haven't really gotten that far into it, but Amberly gave it to me, so I just started. I started that. I have to be in a zone to like read. Like, how's it going, Mark? Shockingly, I I read I read J Lo's book. I liked her book, even though she. Hi from the UK. Hello, sometimes. UK. Um. I'm reading The Alchemist. Yeah, it's a great book. No, I have not seen Breaking Bad. I want me to. Me either. Everyone talks about it. No, I'm not in a book club. Can you do the moonwalk? <laughs> I can do the moonwalk, actually. You can? Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen you do that. No, you won't. <laughs> Tara doesn't dance. Nope, I groove. Um, are your eyes green? N They're hazel, hazel green. Ever read I call the them secret? hazel green. Yes, I, read the I have. When you have kids, it's hard to read. I used to love reading. No, Money Heist. That's on. Have you watched Money Heist? That's on. That's Netflix. on Netflix. Yeah, I yeah, wanted yeah. to watch that, but we haven't. You look tired. No, are you okay? That's a nice way of saying I look like ass. <laughs> but you did say you were tired, so. Yeah, because someone came into the room at four a.m. and woke me up, <laughs> and then I didn't go back to sleep till about five thirty. Oh look. Um, yeah, I went to sleep at. I went upstairs at four. <clears throat> four what? 410 or something like it means that. I have like bags under my eyes. Do I have bags under my eyes? And but it's whatever. interesting because the second I, I was I was tiptoeing my way back in there and I was debating to sleep in Adrian's room or in my room. And I prefer my bed. And I tried to be quiet and it doesn't matter how quiet I am. 
because it always wakes you up. Yeah, I can and you're hear so him pleasant. downstairs. I have the mother ears, so I hear everything. And then once I'm woke, once you, once I'm awoken, I can't go oh. back to sleep so easily. So I was up for a good hour and a half after you came in while you were like laying there sleeping, snoring, and just yeah. getting my two hours of sleep. My three hours. I got three hours, yeah. three and a half. <clears throat> um, all right. So we're gonna do the all the I would do anything for you. When's the next Jackson Family Day? We have not had one of those in a very long time. Where's that? It's up top. I missed um, it. Do you like Selena? I do like Selena. I like that movie too. If that's the right Selena that you're talking about. Um, can you tell a story? No, about that's your... not. Oh. I don't know. I just saw it quickly. So, Probably. can you tell a story about your uncle? Tell a story about my uncle. Mm-hmm. You tell me stories all the time. I, what kind of story? I don't know. There's Remember so when many. you told him that you were having a baby? He was the first person you. Yes, told. he was the very first person I told. Um, and I told him actually at TJ's wedding. The night. It was the night of TJ's wedding, because he had called in to wish, uh, congratulate TJ, and I spoke to him a little bit, and I w- I wanted to, I had this, we had this news. Um, that we were expecting, but obviously it was TJ's wedding, so we didn't want to share it with anybody um, at the at the moment. And it was weird because at the at the wedding, people kept coming up to me and saying congratulations on the addition to the family. So, so I was like, how, how do these people know? But they were talking about Francis. But I'm like, I, I didn't. I just I don't know. It was it was funny to me. But yeah, my uncle was the first person I told, and. Um, yeah. What did he say? He uh, he told me that when I told him, he said, "I'm the Godfather. I'm the Godfather." So mm-hmm. he uh, he's actually the Godfather to Bryce. He didn't give me an option or a choice. I would have asked him anyways, but he uh, he volunteered. He volunteered. He didn't, he didn't ask. And didn't give he, me a choice either. He wanted to be the Godfather, but it didn't matter. Um, I was going to to uh, so. give him that anyways. <clears throat> um. Really? Hmm. That's who you would. That's who you were gonna pick. A hundred percent. Hundred percent. How do you announce to Terrell you were pregnant, Brianna? <laughs> hold on, hold on. Don't answer that yet. Let me see if I can remember. <laughs> oh, I remember. With Bryce I or Adrian? Talk, with, oh, Let's do Bryce, Bryce first. Okay, so it was obviously around TJ's wedding time. So it was actually at TJ's bachelor party. Mm-hmm. We went to San Francisco um, to a baseball game. That's what we did. We went to They're a baseball so game. Fun. And it's so weird because that whole <clears throat> trip, I just felt different. And I, I remember walking around and I remember I caught the reflection of myself in, in a car, a car window. And I sat there and I was looking at myself for 10 seconds and I just felt something different about myself, like a whole different... It was just weird. It was just a, it was a moment for myself because I still remember it. Um, But I just felt something different. I just really felt something different. And I remember um, we went back when we left San Francisco to fly back home to LA. We were meeting Frances and she was having her bachelorette party um, with, with Brianna was there and some of Frances's friends there. And I remember going to to this club, because it was at a club, and I remember Brianna was not drinking. She wasn't having a drink. And I just thought that and was Brianna odd. Because Brianna drinks, <laughs> but she was not drinking on this night. And I just thought that was strange. And, um, yeah. Did I tell you that night? I don't or know. the next day? I think you told me the next day. But I thought that was, it was just a weird weekend. But, um, yeah, I remember when you told me. And I wasn't drinking at the wedding either. I remember when you told me. (laughs) And I was, um. Shocked. I was shocked. Because it's, it it was, uh, I don't know. It's like, it's something I, I always wanted to be a father. But I don't, I, I don't know. Something about me is like, I'm never, I have to be pushed into certain things. Um. 
because. But don't say that I pushed you. Don't make it seem. No, like no, no, I no, no. You. no, 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 no. I think I think it, no, I she didn't push. Ass. No, no, she, not like that. I didn't mean that. <laughs> what I meant was like, if I, I probably would have still been fatherless at this point. Like I don't know. I just because I probably would have felt like I was never ready. Never yeah, ready. But it wasn't never like ready. we had discussed having children, and we knew that we wanted to have children. We just. Um, no, Brie wanted it happened, children. It happened. It definitely happened sooner than we expected. Mm-hmm. Um, I thought you, you know, wanted you wanted children. <clears throat> oh, I wanted children too. I wanted children. So I'm not quickly. making it seem like you wanted children. No, no, no. But I thought like if I I'd have to go off the pill and I'd have to take time. Like we thought I'd go off the pill and it would take time because I'd had taken the pill for like ten years already. I thought that it would take me time and I'd have to like get my body back to like oh. You know, natural and like get off the no. pill and all that stuff but no you get off the pill and that happens pretty quick i mean we got pregnant like the next month after i went off the pill that happened to a couple of my friends actually they went off the pill yeah, and like I, no I'm just kidding. they got pregnant real fast um yeah. you do you want to cleanse your body and get rid of all that but stuff? yeah but yeah it happens fast and then god adrian <laughs> Yeah, let's talk about Adrian. <laughs> you know what's funny? Out of all these years, till I've known you, this is actually this is actually the day that we saw each other for the first time, right? In person. Mm-hmm. It's our first date. It's our first date. Today was our first date. 421. Four, 14 years ago. 14 years ago. <clears throat> 421. That's our first date. Golly, it seems like yesterday. But, no. um, yeah. For you. I can remember everything. Corey was here. Drew was here. You like, have that kind of memory, though. Yeah, you... I remember Andrew uh, Andrew was helping me take out my outfit. Like, I remember everything. I, I got a car that day because I didn't have a car. I was in between cars. I didn't know what car to get. It I ha- was two hours late. It wasn't my fault. first date. It wasn't my two fault. Two hours late because wasn't he was my purchasing fault. this car. Wasn't my fault. And he was spending. He was stuck at the dealership. And I should have took the car back because it was a lemon. Whatever. But the engine two hours light came late. on right when I left. And funny enough, I waited because normally I would have went out and I would never. I would have never waited for a man. That like was that. A, that wasn't my fault. I know, but I'm like I would have left. I'm. I don't so know why. so I'm what like, happened it must was have been meant to be because my ass would have left. I would. So never what wait happened? For a man. Let me talk about this car situation. So oh, what happened Jesus. was earlier in the day I went to buy a car. I hope that doesn't sound bad. Why? What would sound bad? No, no, no. That? I waited a long time to get a car. I didn't know what car I wanted, but I ended up getting a car. I and I went earlier in the, in the day and I purchased a car and I had left because I told the person I'm going on a date tonight <laughs> and I need the car to be ready at this time. I left the dealership and went home and got dressed and everything and then went back to the dealership so I can pick up the car and then I was going on my way to you. Mm-hmm. So the car should have been ready. I don't know what was taking them so long. This is like in the daytime I went to do this. Yeah. It so have been a sign. I I just remember, I remember calling you and telling you I was going to yeah. be late. I remember calling and I remember that. Yeah. Um. So anyways. Two hours. Yeah. But that was a fun date. Yeah. That was a fun date. What is what is uh? Where did we go? We went to Don- we weren't we were going to go to Carmen's. Do you remember that? Carmen's. Is that what it's called? The Mexican place. Carmen's? Carmen? El Carmen? <laughs> El, El Carmen, yeah. Come El on, Carmen. Brie! I'm saying Carmen, El so Carmen. sorry. Okay. El, El Carmen. Carmen. yeah. So El Carmen. Lives in LA Do you remember El that? El Carmen, yeah. I love El Do Carmen. Do you remember we were going to go there? <clears throat> you don't remember that? No, I don't. We were going to go to El Carmen. <laughs> we were going to go to El Carmen, and we drove by, and there was a line, and you went, oh, heck no. Yeah, because that place So we didn't so have, tiny. we didn't know where we were going. Hungry. I was and I didn't know she was a foodie okay. like she is. Oh, no. But he learned that night because so, we ended up going to Dominic's. She was like all these other places. I like, I don't I'm care. I'm in the restaurant business, so. I don't care. It doesn't matter. Did. So we went to Dominic's. Mind you, I was out in the west side, which is in the city, which I never, I hardly would go there. He's maybe a valley like, boy. Maybe like once a month, <laughs> if that, I would make a trip to that side. But, um... Yeah, so I we went there, and we Hills. ended up going to Dominic's. We went to Dominic's, which is in West Hollywood. Was. Mm-hmm. And then I ordered up. <laughs> you sure did. 
I ordered, Do you remember what you ordered? I ordered, um, I know I got the gnocchi. Yes. And I know. Do we I didn't know, <laughs> by the way, I didn't know what any of this stuff was. Did I get oysters? No. No. What was the appetizer? We got Caesar salad. No. All That's he got had. was a salad. I had a salad. All he ate was a salad. I got a salad. I was, and it was your yeah. turn. And then I got, a, like, I got an the appetizer. Rice ball oh, yeah, we got the rice balls. And then the gnocchi. And then I got the dessert. I remember I that. I remember where we I were sitting. I have no shame. I'm not that girl that's going to go order a salad and kind of on the first date or a little appetizer. My ass eats. I had no shame. I had a martini. Do you remember where we sat? <clears throat> yeah, outside. I remember that so well. Outside. And then we went, where else? We went for drinks at Maison 140. Mm-hmm. And then you came home with me. That No, we had to get gas. Oh, yeah, we got <laughs> Okay. Yeah, but that's important, Brie. Because you kissed me at the gas station. I kissed you kissed you. me. <laughs> you kissed me. Don't put that on me. I was outside already. I think I was. What was I doing? Putting air in the tire or something? I wasn't getting. I don't know. But you I came to something. my side. You came to my side of the door. And you wanted to kiss me. You're just not like you're shy and you're not aggressive. I just remember that was yeah. You're not. That was at a, that was shy. at a mobile station. Yeah, right down the street on Pico and uh, Beverly Will. Yeah, that was at the <clears throat> mobile station. Oh, that's something in my eye. Yeah, you're shy and you're not aggressive in any way. Um, so you were like Jesus. shy to kiss me. I just pulled you in a little closer so you could yeah, do you it, were... but you definitely went in for it. Yeah, so then then, then we were going to play Scrabble. <laughs> Then we were gonna play Scrabble. Well, we didn't play Scrabble. So, so that before, night. before, so this is interesting. So, I don't know if people know this about us, but we met on, we met kind of through MySpace, right? We talked we about this a little bit. Yeah. So we, were we somewhat came. connected through MySpace, this but is not she, for me at all. but she <laughs> knew, but she knew and was best friends with Autumn and Jermaine because they all went to the same school, high school together, Beverly High. Beverly High, right? Beverly Hills High. Beverly Hills High. High. Um, So we kind of knew each other, kind of. Um, Yeah, I had been to, like, Autumn's graduation. Like, Jermaine's, like, we had been in the same circle throughout the years. So this is all on MySpace. Was Autumn's graduation also TJ's graduation party? I believe so. I believe so, yeah. Yeah. So those were back in the MySpace stage. State uh days. days. MySpace days. And that is where because you remember you have like the profile picture, that was where what's behind your name came from because all I had was her picture. Your little black and white picture. What's behind oh, so my modeling picture. That song What's Behind Your Name It's inspired by you, Brianna, in the MySpace era. Um But I remember we would go back and forth. See, I don't know this stuff. I don't don't do all this stuff. But I remember when we first um, started talking back and forth through MySpace. Do you remember you told me to, um, you you gave me your number Mm -hmm. and like you should call me or something like that you said. Mm -hmm. And and I called her, (laughs) I called her like right away. It was like one in in the morning. Yeah, it was one in the morning. So I... Gave me her number, so I called her. No. She was up. Men don't do that. But she was like, I, I didn't mean now. Hours. I didn't mean now, but I don't know. So I just called her. But I remember we were talking, and then we, we it turned out, yeah. Hours. And it turned out we had a lot in common. And do you remember our phone conversation or not really? Our first phone conversation was about our parents. Mm-hmm. And um, you spoke about how you had lost your mom at 19. Mm-hmm. And, and I, how old she was. And she was 39 years mm-hmm. old. And I had lost my dad when I was 19. And he was also 39 years old. Hi, son. And um, that was one of our first conversations that we had was about our parents. Oh, Mickey Mouse is in the house. <laughs> we haven't even gotten to Ding Dong yet. No. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? <laughs> what? You got a lot of gum in your mouth. Oh, my God. I love that? him. That's the tape gum. Cause you put a lot what? in there. What do you mean? The tape. The, the tape. What do you mean? Okay. Um, I don't know. Oh. Adrian, they're saying hi to you. Say hi to everybody. Hi. Hi. Adrian, you are, are you done with your else. Zoom? 
I'm done with all my homework. Good job. All right, we'll finish all of it right before my science. Oh, oh, here, here we go. Look, here we look go. this one right here. Can't go with that look. <laughs> look, this one. Go ahead, hey. get your little, Mickey Mouse. Mickey get it in Mouse. real quick. Hey. See, Some see what happened Mouse. from 421. <laughs> this is what happened 421, from 421. 2006 led to this. Hi, Mickey. Amazing, this right here. Hi. <laughs> And this you guys love the is camera. crazy love. I lost my job at Disneyland. <laughs> Dunk. This is crazy love. You right? guys are king dongs. All right. You guys good? Yeah, I want to go. All right, All right. go. Oh, go. I'm go. Right. Bye. 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 All right. Huh? See ya. I'm going to get Adrian. I'm going to make lunch. When, when are we riding our bike? In this afternoon. When? Um, Maybe um, around three. Yeah. After, yeah, I have to go do a Come birthday drive-by Wait, so at 3. When you're done with this, can we go outside and ride it a little? Yeah, maybe. Oh, <coughs> ding dong, get out of here. All right, go. Bye, All right, where was I? <laughs> oh, yeah, the conversation. <clears throat> so in our conversation, we talked about our parents and how old we were. We just had a lot of things in common. Um, kind of ironic that we were both 19 and our parents were Yeah, we just had a lot of things. We lost our parents. Yeah. The only difference is you lost your mom suddenly, and mm -hmm. I, I was aware. I knew he was going to pass. Yeah, so, so we had, um, we just, I don't know, <clears throat> had certain things. And then um, we also talked about Scrabble. Do you remember uh, what talking yeah, about? Yeah, because I would kick your ass. She kept saying, I, and I thought she was going to be good. <laughs> I thought she was going to be good. She was talking all this smack, like, I'm really good, and blah, blah, blah. And at the time, I was playing a lot with my grandma, who... If anybody knows my grandma Jackson, she she loves, she loves Scrabble. Scrabble, and she played it all the time. And so, so I was pretty, I was in good shape with that game. So I felt pretty confident. Yeah, so they're very good at Scrabble. They're I very thought good at games. Brie don't, was talking. Brie was her. talking like she's really good at Scrabble. So I was like, <clears throat> that was what we planned. We planned that we were gonna go uh, play Scrabble. So I was looking forward to it, and I thought it was gonna be a fun game. And She was, huh. just, she was just talking. Whatever. She's not... Mm. I'm okay. Mm. <laughs> Whatever. No. You have fun She was just talking. Ways. She was talking mess. Whatever. And then, <laughs> you know, we'll keep keep it PG, but... Why? It went... It went uh, you went... You initiated a lot of stuff. You it was, started... It was, it was Bree started started our getting first night crazy. Wasn't rated R. Bree started crazy, crazy love. It wasn't. It was PG thirteen. No, it was. It was. It was PG thirteen. It was. Okay, maybe it was a little rated. It wasn't you X rated. Crazy. That's what, it wasn't X rated. X rated. It was rated R, but it wasn't X rated. But Bree, <laughs> what? You were crazy. Crazy love. Crazy love. You know what it was? I wanted to get a tattoo that said crazy, and he'd get love, but he. Won't get a tattoo, and he's love? definitely not getting love tattooed on him. Oh. So. Um. So. There's something in my eye. Yeah. It's driving me nuts. Can you blow? Yeah, I don't see. That's although while well, we've been quarantined together. Um. Okay. So blow where are we? Me. So that was that. Bri love in my eye. Bri X rated. No X rated. No, it wasn't X rated. Wasn't X rated. Not that night. Not that night. Not that night. <laughs> But it wasn't far away. <laughs> so that was it for that night, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, you did go home in the morning. You but I remember, but I remember what? opening the door. I still remember your <clears throat> smile when you opened the door. And I remember yours. Um, but since that night, there was no separation mm -mm. for a while. No. Until our first big separation. Yeah. yeah when I had to leave his ass. Yeah, because I effed up. Yeah. But, wait. Six months in. We gotta go, but after, no, we, we're skipping all the fun stuff, though. Oh, you just, okay. But whatever. All right, well, that's, that's, that's that. That was that. It's a long, it's been a long. And it's been. A long, crazy, long, long, long. Crazy, <clears throat> crazy love since. It has. Um, but. It'll always be crazy love. Yeah, Brie, why don't you tell them? you wanted to tell them i don't i didn't want to tell them anything i just don't I want i just don't want people to get it twisted so go ahead so so this is where you want me to break it down yeah go ahead you got the floor you can come in though 
No, you don't need me. Go Why? ahead. This because this is all you. <laughs> You're putting me on the spot, aren't you? You don't have to, but it's up to you. You wanted to. No, I just don't want things to be misconstrued. Okay, That's so then, all. <clears throat> go ahead. You know, I don't. I don't like to be fake or phony or hypocritical and stuff. So. You know, say what you need been, to say. It's been say it's been fourteen say. years of crazy love, but there's been I don't know ups and downs and is that that thing? Yeah, it's been ups and downs, and I don't know. We're kind of in a I don't know what would you call it. I don't. Can you get in here? See, <clears throat> this is the problem with you, Brie. No, go ahead. You need to Keep notice. together forever. Brie, beautiful couple. This is the problem okay, with you. So... This is the problem. Let me explain something. Let me break it down for yeah, you. Yeah, go ahead. You need me. Oh, shut up. Ter Ter so, <laughs> this is also the one year anniversary of my first. I call it my first album because it was like my first release. My first album, Crazy Love. I released it. On this day, and that album is inspired by you, Brie. You know, is that? And it's funny because so much has gone on since then. And I listen. It's weird, like even doing this project, this uh, digital eight thing. I'm listening back to all my songs, and it's weird how a lot of that I could relate to, even though I wrote it. Like maybe I wrote a song in 2007. But even when I listen to it now, it still hits. Like, it's still relevant. Like, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. I don't know if you follow. But almost like I wrote it in the future. Or wrote it for my future self. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. But it makes sense now. Like, I can relate to it. Um, anyways. So, that's why it's like songs like You Can Say. That's like You Can Say. Have you? Do you, do you even know that song? Yeah. Sing it. Give me a little bit. Yeah. You can say that you don't love me. Oh, yeah, I know that song. Yeah, that song. So. <clears throat> that inspired by me. Too. That's you. And okay. that's what you get? God, I'm inspiring all these songs. Where You know, where's my credit? Do I get like I a gave you the credit right I now. Get like this a, is the credit you get. Do You've I get a inspired written, me. Do I get a written? You've inspired me. That's the credit you get. The good songs, the bad songs, <clears throat> the fires of the I'm world. I'm not the stubborn one, though. No. I'm not stubborn. Stubborn That's not was me. my ex. Wouldn't but not all songs are written 100% about people. Because that's another thing you think. Like when I write a song, it's like, who's this about? Oh, yeah. Who's he that had about? a couple of songs and I'm like, who the mm -mm. fuck is that about? No, some, they, were, no. they can mm, be like, you can I take, I you don't can know, take like a when situation. We first met, when we first met, there mm -hmm. are some songs about your ex. No. Oh. No, okay. you can't do that. You can't. Like, I can tap into a situation, but it doesn't mean it's written for that person. That's, well, no. You did go. No. Mm -hmm. uh, hey, you. Hey. <laughs> hey, you want to? <laughs> yeah. Just saying. Yeah. <clears throat> just saying. Yeah, I can say, I can just yes, say you too. Can. So, she's not my wife. Nope. I'm not his wife. I'm not she's his wife. Not my wife. I am his. Children's mother. Children's mother. <laughs> I'm his baby mama. She's not my wife. No, I'm. I'm. I'm your. <clears throat> I don't know. What am I? <sighs> What's up, Daniel? Doctor V. Hi guys. Hi. <laughs> He's at work. Ugh. We got to give it up though to Doctor. Yes, Doctor Vado. Thank you. You know, with everything that goes on and is going on right now, his ass is still going to work. He's a, he's a surgeon, and he's still going to the hospital. Oh, she's your PYT. And he's going to, he's going to work and doing what he's got to do during this crazy time. His ass could sit at home, but mm -hmm. he's going to work in that hospital, and we want to acknowledge that for sure. For sure. Oh, yeah. you're each other's boo. <clears throat> That's right. <laughs> when will she be your wife? Do you want to be his wife? I'm just reading these comments, so, Brianna. I'm just reading the comments. You're welcome, Beto. Do we <clears throat> waiting for your wedding? How did you feel about the bow last night? Oh. No, no wedding here. There's no no wedding, wedding here. here. There's there's some stuff with that, so I'm not. Can I, can I be 100, Tara? Go ahead. You I, got the, go ahead. <clears throat> Look into the camera. People want to see you. Come on. 
Um, there's a couple of things with that. Um, being part of this family, I think I've talked about, is, is not is not easy. And <clears throat> so, well, I don't know if Go it's ahead. something I want. I'm going to come off the screen. <clears throat> it's not something. Go in there. Uh, Go in there. It's not. <laughs> Get in there. Don't look at Stop. me. Stop. Look into the camera. No, you're doing that again. Like, don't do that. You want me to come in? Yeah, but like, don't do that. Don't, no, no, don't I want you to talk to the people. Don't give me that attitude and stuff. Like, mm. I don't like it. But, no, I'm not giving you an attitude. Um, I just want you to have the floor. I don't know if I want to be part of the of the family like that. There's uh, been a lot of stuff. And um, I got to think about how I say this because everyone turns my words around. So I don't even know if I should, should speak so openly. People like to switch my words. Um, <clears throat> I think I've talked about kind of being like a black sheep in the family and having to change my ways and it's not something that Wait, we are not fighting. I want to by do. the way we're not the fighting. Same fighting, trust me. Um I don't know. There's dynamics and things about the family that I don't uh love and I don't know if I want to be a part of it and I don't know if I want my children growing up with certain mentality and, and it's just not easy and thoughts it's and not how easy to, how to be a certain way you know i believe in being who you are and expressing yourself and being true to who you are and you know i don't like to fake the funk and i don't like to you know turn the switch on when i have to and like i understand you know there's a time and place for things but i'm i, I like to be authentic and uh i have to say something <clears throat> go ahead can i interrupt sure Cause somebody said don't be too open and well, that's why I'm kind of like, no, it's okay, but I'm just saying certain things are private, certain things are private, <clears throat> but also certain things are just real. And we are human, we are in a well, we are not perfect, we are not perfect. We have been in a relationship, we have children together, we have love for each other, and <clears throat> we are we are just two people that have um some some mess just like everybody else in this or world imper imperfect people Vanessa Bryant said it perfectly when she talked about Kobe two imperfect people well they fit together perfectly <laughs> I don't know if we fit together perfectly well, anymore ass is still here though babe. <clears throat> but anyways what I'm gonna say is a lot of times people think uh, we're too open or we're fighting and this and that. Um, and maybe, maybe we are too open for some, whatever. I don't know. I, I just, I don't know. I just, I just feel it's, I'd rather be open and upfront and honest with you guys. And, um, not saying that we tell all of our stuff cause yeah, there's certain boundaries for us, but you know, we, we don't we don't try to be perfect and have this whole relationship in front and all this. We have been through it, and and the sad part is is that, um, I think a lot of people have looked at us and they have seen either through the show or through comments, <clears throat> they almost think it's worse. Even like TV shows, like the whole Yana thing, um which I had nothing to do with, but you see what TV does. Um, the editing and, and it just, I think, I think people think it's a lot worse or it's, it's something that it's not. Does that make sense? So, um, I know that it's hard for you because you didn't grow up in this mm -hmm. and it's hard for me because I grew up in this. It's not easy. Um, it's not easy being in this and I don't like being in this, but I just, this is all I know. And, um, it's, it's, it's shaped me in a way that I like in some areas and I don't like in some areas. And that's what I actually love about Brie is that she's not from this and she doesn't care much about this as far as transforming, you know, her. Um, and it's, it's been challenging for us because, at the end of the day, a lot of the television stuff you guys see is, is entertainment. And, you know, um, it's just been a learning process for, for us. But things have been bad between us, but not because of what,
people may think. Does that make sense? Do you guys follow? I hope. <clears throat> Maybe. Kind of. Sort of. Um, but I just prefer to win this. Because this is actually good. Because these are our words. And mm -hmm. there's no editing. So it is what it is. Um, do I ramble? Sometimes. But it's okay. <laughs> it's weird because I don't really like speaking, but when I get on a roll, like you can't shut me up. Yeah, that's true. Um, but I um, think for us, the most important thing is to just be authentic, and um, we're working on things, you know, to sh to show our kids that to be authentic and to be who they are, and and we get a um, lot of crap for that because yeah. I think I think we don't. Well, we're very open with our children, too. We talk to them about our relationship and where we stand and, and what we're doing, you know. Some people don't always think that's the best. We don't sugarcoat. Not all of the stuff. We don't tell them everything. Oh, you've told them some shit. Hmm? You have told them mm, some shit. I don't tell them everything. Yeah. Mm. But, um... Did I miss the announcement? What announcement? There's no announcement. <laughs> Do you feel pressure by your family? Do I feel pressure? For, or is that for, for Brie what? or for me? What type of pressure? What does that elaborate, please? <clears throat> but don't feel you have to let you don't feel like be that. you. No, we, are always, we, don't, we have, don't feel like we, don't we have to have do have anything. To tell her stuff. We we don't. We just. But you know what it, you know what else it is? It's there's a lot of people that think things and sometimes sometimes if you don't communicate like this, people will take it and run with it. Um and that's that can be unfair. But I don't I don't there's a limitation to that because I don't want to get into the whole thing of somebody posting something and then you got to defend it like mm -hmm. oh, I'm not doing that. But you know, we're, we don't, we're not perfect. We don't have a perfect relationship. We don't even have, we have some kind of relationship, but it's not, we've lived in the gray area for quite some time. And, um, we co-parent. That's our biggest, um, it's that's been, our priority. Our it's priority been, is to co-parent and be there for our kids and be the best parents we can be. It's and, been rough. We it's do been live, a rough we do 14. Live together. <laughs> it's been a it's been a very But we're not um, not all 14, but it's we've <clears throat> I think it comes down to am I talking too much? No. I think it comes down to fear. Can I speak? Go for it. You can speak. If I say too much, just pinch me. <laughs> pinch you. But I I, I won't say too much. You're more I'm more open than you. So, mm. you can speak. Okay. I think it comes down to fear. And this is why I don't mind being open with you guys because a lot of people probably expect me to be one way or or maybe because of the lights and camera there's a perception that I'm this or maybe because of the way it's edited that I'm Mr. Perfect or whatever. But we also want to we also like to I'm discuss not. it because we know there's people out there that can probably learn from us yeah. or feel the same way or you know just get some I don't want to say advice, but just learn and know that but it's like, real. It's real, and everyone goes through it. Like it's real, <clears throat> and that's why I think that's why I'm not ashamed to speak about it, because I think because we are human, mm -hmm. and because we are dealing with love, mm -hmm. people go through things. Yeah, and I think people can relate to this. It's For sure. We're not the only ones that go through what right. we go through. It's not going to be perfect. Everybody goes through it. So that's why it makes it a little bit easier. Yeah. Um, You're gonna have but to I have a platform. Too. We have a platform to help. So I think using that platform in a way to help people and to inspire and to give hope and to, I mean, I don't know. You, I've seen people and it's helped me. So I'll do my part. But anyways, what I was about to say is I think... And you can disagree, mm -hmm. but I won't care because I, I, I'm i stubborn and I feel like this is it. I think it comes down to fear. And I and I think um, there's a lot of insecurities on both sides <laughs> of this. Brie, your stuff. Terrell, your stuff. Mm -hmm. Fears, Brie, your stuff. Terrell, your stuff. Um, 
I think we both have that. And I think this goes with everybody. I think this goes with everybody on down the line. We're all born and experience things in life that somewhat shape us. And we we are taught things that some of it helps and some of it doesn't. And I think that forms us. Interesting. And, I am reading all the comments, so I do see all of them. And I'm just in. and I'm but just he's talking, talking and I'm reading, but I'll share I'm just them talking. with him later. Go ahead. <laughs> but um, I think it shapes us and it forms us, and some of that is really good. But then there's other stuff that doesn't align with us as we grow older. I think we start having different beliefs, and it doesn't align with what we were taught growing up or what we seen growing up, or you know what we thought it was going to be like. And there's a there's an inner battle. And I think that that inner battle, there's fear, there's um, insecurity, there's there's a lack of trust. And um, I think dealing with that is the real <laughs> is the real uh, challenge. And I have gone through it. <laughs> I've gone through it. I've gone through it. I've I've uh, I've really gone through it these last especially this last year I really went through it um but it was a it was a combination it was almost like a lot of stuff in my childhood leading up to now and um it um put me in a position where I'm at now that is is still difficult for me because I love you um but uh I don't know I I I love you a lot I'm kind of getting weird a little <laughs> but um, but I I I love you a lot, and I know um, I've done some terrible things, um, and just wasn't wasn't how I should have been, and some of that is, I don't want to say some of that is just see there needs to be understanding and forgiveness with everybody and everything, and I'm a very understanding and forgiving person. <clears throat> I hope I'm not rambling. But sometimes when people do things, there's a reason for it. It's not an excuse. It's not an excuse. I'm not saying you get an excuse and you get a freebie and you get a pass or whatever. Or your behaviors or the way you don't do something or the way you do something. I'm not saying it's an excuse. There's reasons for things. And growing up and experience, experiencing some of the things I've experienced in my childhood... um has affected me badly, deeply, with or without Brie. It's just affected me. And it's changed me as a as a man and as a person. And then you add this family on top of that, that whole family dynamic of the Jacksons and the spotlights and everything, that has been a lot on me. Um, and just dealing with all of that has made it difficult for me to trust and to to just be free. Just to be free and not worry about things, and it's it's um it's formed me, it's shaped me, and it 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 shaped me into being something that was challenging for me to break. You know, things things that were very easy for you to do, mm -hmm. such as speaking your mind or <clears throat> standing up for stuff, was very hard for me. Yes, very very hard for me, um, and it shouldn't be. You're looking at it like, why is that hard? You know what I mean? Um, well, we just come from both from, come from, from different, different worlds. worlds. We're like... We have different things. You know, there's things that are hard for you. My mother's very strong. My mother had to speak up, you know, being a woman and being a business owner. And she had to speak up and, and do certain things to get her to where she is, to her success. And not only that, she had to do those things to get us out of Fall River into a better situation. And I grew up seeing that. So I am more, you know, I speak up when needs to, I, I go in, I handle things and I don't take no for an answer. And if something's wrong, I say it's wrong. Like I don't hesitate because to me, that's how you get things done. And that's how you, even with like the world, like we've had, we've had conversations about racial conversations and political conversations like I mm -hmm. am one to speak up I, I'm not going to be silent about things I'm going to speak up even if I get the backlash because if it's wrong then it needs to be something needs to be said and the changes need to be made that's just how I was how I was raised um, you were more raised to stay silent and not rock the boat so much mm -hmm. I think and it's funny 
because Auntie Janet just posted something and I reposted it. <clears throat> and it's funny because it's it's balance. Hold on, let me read. Let me see if I can find it. I know I can. Um, it's balance. It says, never speak from a place of hate, jealousy, anger, or insecurity. Evaluate your words before you let them leave your lips. Sometimes it's best to be quiet. Uh, Tony A. Gaskins Jr. wrote that. But my Aunt Janet oh. posted that. But <laughs> sometimes it's best to keep quiet. So when I when I read that, and I agree with that, but sometimes it's, sometimes is the key word. Sometimes it's best to be be quiet or you gotta keep pick quiet. and choose sometimes and that's my challenge because i don't i don't stand up for myself a lot um and i i tend to avoid confrontation and conflict and i just instead of even within your own family with even within my own family instead of dealing with things i i can easily just close the door and not deal with it and push it just put it in the corner but it, it's they like to brush you things under the you rug. just don't ever deal with it and it's very <laughs> difficult um whereas my family <laughs> my mom i guess yeah you I, guys you we, guys go in there with the flashlight in, magnifying glass we hand but we guys and we will hash the, it out and we'll yell and scream and hash it out but then it's done and then we can go right back into living life and like y'all yeah, crazy a little know, bit though we said what we had to say we dealt with the situation and now we're back to our normal lives you know two different extremes but yes but yeah i understand um but what i was gonna say is but it's funny because our kids uh emulate each one of us like mm -hmm. bryce is so so much like tara like he's quiet really he's oh okay in the in the fact where he doesn't like stand up for himself okay <clears throat> you know like bryce has had a, a bullying situation at school which to me i was like what do you how like freaking that kid comes up to you and he hits you hit him back or stand up for yourself and speak up and get in his face and you know where bryce shut down and didn't say anything See? but this leads he was quiet and but where did that all stem from what that whole bullying stuff that came from what jealousy the MJ st comments oh, and stuff. It did. It did. From being a Jackson. Yes. Sadly. And that was something I wanted to talk to my kids about and, and have a discussion about that. And you did not want to because you didn't want them to have anything put on them. Mm -hmm. But I was trying to warn them because that's, I know how it is. I grew up in it. And it took you a minute, but now you're starting to see some of the things that I was saying. The thing is, though, I don't believe in... I don't believe it either. I don't believe in this. I don't believe telling your kids, like, putting things on them, such as, like, the racial conversation we had with your brother one day. With TJ. Oh, about sure being, I We're sitting in here and we're having a conversation about being black and how there's racism in the world and all mm -hmm. that stuff. And, you know, he said something along the lines of, like, he talks to his children about that. How they're black and like he could, they could be treated differently or whatnot. Something mm -hmm. along those lines. I can't quote them. Mm -hmm. My stance is I'm not going to go to my children and I'm not going to say you're biracial, you're black, you're what, you're whatever. People are going to treat you different because of this. People are going to, I'm not doing that. I'm not going to put that on my kids and already give them an insecurity. If a situation arises, I love, I love these discussions. If a by situation the way. arises, then we're going to talk about it. But I'm not going to already put things on you and make you insecure about yourself. This is such... I love this. I know you do. I love talking about this stuff. I wasn't raised that way, being You biracial. weren't raised that way. I'm biracial, if you all don't know. <laughs> oh, I just saw something, by the way. <clears throat> I saw... This is funny, because I was looking for old music files. And I saw somebody... It was actually a MySpace comment. It was It was somebody... I, I put it on my desktop. But it was somebody saying why we don't date... Why do we always date white girls and blah 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 and who why don't we that? date? It was it was back in the day though. It was MySpace. But who said why do we date white girls? The girl commented. She 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 sent me a message and she said something oh, about to my you. mom. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Why is, don't you date is, white girls? This is no, years ago. It was why don't you date black girls? Oh, did I say why don't I or why do I she only asked, date? Yeah, she why asked, do I? I said it wrong. If I said why it wrong, don't I'm sorry. you date? Black why do girls? I only date white black girls? Women. They said, all of us. <clears throat> 
all three of us. And why don't you date black girls and this and that and blah, I'm blah, black. blah. But that's, that's what I thought <laughs> was black. crazy. I mean, to be honest, Bree and I are like the same. Right? Yeah. Are Half. you considered Hispanic? I'm Portuguese. Portuguese. What's that considered? Nah, nah. I mean, we say Latin. Well, you're, you're, but... She's got just as much black as I do. For all you I'm, that don't know. I'm definitely more. Not that it matters. <laughs> Not that it matters, because I don't even care. You can be purple. Right. All your exes, it's funny, because all your exes are mixed. Yeah. So. And my mom's mixed. Yeah. And I think everybody in the world is mixed. Like, we don't quite, we don't, I don't even I, ask those questions. I don't, I don't even, even care like about that. To, see, I thought that's it was so ignorant. That's, that is ignorant to me. Like, I don't even question, are you dating a white or a black or an Asian? Like, that's just dumb to me. I don't even, but I, I can't even deal just, with stuff like that. That, that drives I me know, nuts. I know, but that, those are the kind of people. <laughs> but that's what I love about, like, like, I love that our kids, like, you can't ask them what they are because they have so much in them. They are Portuguese and, and they, you know. They have Irish they in them, Dominican, and they have Puerto Rican and Puerto Dominican, Rican. and they're the African, the Cape Verdean. Like they have so much that there's not like it, they're, they're just they're just human beings. That's so it. I there's thought that was that. funny. I thought that was funny because. But for those wondering were... if he dates black girls, here I am. And it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. But my point is, is, is I don't know. I don't want to. You kind of went off track. Yeah, maybe. Um, what were we talking about? We're talking oh, about we're talking about the black. We're talking about the black one. So you don't believe in you don't believe in having those discussions. And I I I get what you're saying. I understand what you're saying. But at the same time, for me, I just like to have my kids prepared because when they're not prepared, then then bad things can I get happen. That. And I see that now. You know? And now I see that that's now with the times. I'm seeing that now. But like, like that. You know, I didn't believe in having a conversation with them and saying, you know, because of your last name, this is, you know, this can See? happen X, Y, and Z. And then going back to the bullying situation, there was a kid who was messing with him because his last name was Jackson and he talked a lot of smack about his uncle and about his family. And Bryce tried to defend. And Bryce, Bryce did, did try, try to, to he defend. He defended, not as, as vocal as I'd like him to be, but... He was, he, he defended the know, way Brianna Cabral would defend, point, right? But it would got you to say a that? point where Bryce was getting pushed, literally pushed yeah. around. Um, but going back to you and I, Bryce is similar to Terrell in that aspect because he's, he does, he is quiet, quiet and he rather just, you know, not deal with the issue. Whereas Adrian is all his mother and he is as vocal as I am. But it's so strange. They're both of no us. Shame. They're huh? both of us. They are. Totally. Like, it's almost like when push comes to shove. Yeah. Adrian's <laughs> very much like you, mm-hmm. but on the, on this, like, he's very much like me. Where he's, he's, I don't want to say it, but he's a sweet person. Sorry. I'm sweet. I'm not trying to be arrogant. Excuse but you. But Adrian is sweet friends... and he's, he's kind hearted. He's soft. And I'm and he's not. he's very loving. And I'm not. You, you are, Brie. I said on like the surface thing. Like you. I'm hard on the outside, you but are... I'm super soft on the inside. Yeah. But I, and you know what? I have to be. I'm going to tell you. I hate, I love the hardness, but I hate the hardness. What keeps me loving you is the softness, but it's like you don't show it much. You you show it when I look into your eyes. See, I can't help it. Look, see. Shut up. Um, I'm getting so uncomfortable. <clears throat> but Bryce is very much like her. Kelly or Davon, I don't know who. Hi. Um, hey guys. You love but this Bryce, conversation Bryce right is, now. Bryce is very much <laughs> like Bree, and that's why they they often butt heads. Because they are two peas in the pod. And Bryce does not back down. Just like Bree doesn't back down. So it uh, gets very interesting. The best is the morning. And you guys are both. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're not man. morning people. It's so funny to watch Bryce them in the I. morning. <laughs> Adrian and I, man. We're, we're just Adrian laughing and at Tara, like, you. You know, Adrian up. and I laugh at you guys. And that's my mother's like that, too. I'm not like that. Bryce and I are not morning um, people. All right. So where were we? So I just like to prepare. I like to prepare, and 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 it probably Hi, comes Cindy. from being in this family. Hi, Cindy. I didn't see her name, but if Cindy she's... Verani. Okay. Hi, Cindy. We were just talking How about you, you this morning. Actually, I told Terrell he needs to call you. <clears throat> um. All right. So, so we talked about Bryce, and mm-hmm. then we have Adrian. Yeah. How I told you about Adrian. Mm-hmm. So. Okay, so that's interesting let me let me because... set it up. Let me set it up. Let me set it up. So this was the year. Where LeBron James was with the Cavs. 
and he was a free agent. So there was like, I don't know if you guys follow sports, but he was about to announce which team he was going to be on. Right. So it's like for two weeks, people were like, where's LeBron going? Is he going to go to this team or to that team? He should stay here. There was talk for like weeks about it. And today was the day where LeBron was going to make the big announcement, you know, and it happened to be on July, July 8th. So I'm like waking up. I'm, I'm a sports. All right. We got to wait. Yeah, got to wait. Okay. What is 12.52. Okay, we'll go for a little more. If I got to tell this story, it's funny. Okay. Sorry, guys. What's up, Susie? Um, Antoria in tiny Montana. I guess I guess after a certain amount of time it yeah uh, forty five minutes oh, shoot, an hour. I'm about to sneeze. Okay, I think I'm gonna sneeze, guys. And just so you know, sometimes when I sneeze, I sneeze like four times. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, I'm good though. That was it. Sorry. All right, sorry. We're good. We're good. All right, so I'm gonna pick up my story. So I was waiting for LeBron James to announce where he was going. Okay, but no, I don't have makeup on. Is that okay? She's on me. I do not have makeup on. We're keeping it real. We're in quarantine. It is what it is. She got dressed up today. You complained about wearing uh, jeans, or not jeans, sweatpants and stuff. So you got dressed up. I did, but really because I have to do a birthday drive-by. You can still do it in your sweats. You drive in the car and you just drive by the person's house. I got to do that today. Um, All right. There's Yvette. Okay, back to our... uh, Yvette LeBron is James. our children's godmother, my best friend, by the way, who's in uh, Oslo right now. I'm supposed to be seeing for my birthday. I'm supposed to be in Oslo with her. Um. All right. <clears throat> That's so sweet. Oh, she's going to sleep. Oh, you're going to bed. All, all right, right. Love you. Um, you wake up. So I'm sitting here waiting for the time to come, to come where, where uh, it's going to be the special because it was a special for LeBron James to – announce Thank his you guys. team I see all your tech I see all the posts. Thank you. So it's coming around that time where the special is about to start and I'm just, you know, sitting at home waiting for this day, waiting for this this hour. And Bree's like, Terrell, you need to come up so I can talk to you. And I was like, oh, okay. Wow. I don't remember this. You don't remember this? No. I mean I remember Do you remember it. where we were? Here. What what room? Yeah. Uh, Bryce's, Bryce's room. room. Yeah, Which so was the guest room. we sit there and she uh, breaks it down for me. Basically, that number two is on the way. And your response? You want me to share that? <laughs> well, he you was can shocked. Share he was shocked that I was pregnant. Because... <laughs> Go ahead. You can share my response. I don't care. I didn't know he if you wanted to. He was shocked that I was pregnant because we hadn't. Go been, ahead. We hadn't been intimate. My in so my response. Long. My response was, "Is it mine?" <laughs> That was my response. Because we hadn't been intimate in because, so long. And yeah. we had actually had separated uh, prior to I that. I was like, is it mine? Because... That hurt my feelings. I know, but That like, hurt my feelings so badly. I'll it never was, forget that. I understand. <clears throat> but that was a legitimate question. No, it wasn't. I was... No, it wasn't. Why? Well, because we had separated when Bryce was two. I don't know. Was it about two? Bree, no. we've separated. I don't know when we've we separated. We've separated, but Bree, I had moved. I had moved separate. back. I had moved back, and we were working on it, but we weren't intimate at all. It took one time. Not one, one time. One, one night. time. It's always around this time. One because time. It's my birthday. It's a birthday it's the and the anniversary. So here day. comes number three. No, I'm just no. kidding. No. <laughs> No three. There's not gonna. No not gonna three. happen. Not happening. All right. <laughs> not gonna happen. No. Yeah, yeah. Is it mine? Because you know. Because we hadn't been sleeping either. Yeah. <laughs> like. I wasn't sleeping with anybody else. I didn't know that. <laughs> I didn't know wow. that. Wow, that hurts my feelings still. Well. How could you? I mean, honestly. Seriously. You better not have no little ones running around somewhere. No. I'm that not, you don't I'm know even, No, I'm not even worried about that. Um, all right. So, so, yeah. One time in band camp, yeah. That, that, um, <laughs> that, uh, 
But you know what's weird? And this might be too too much information, TMI. He doesn't even look like you, I'm sure. It's my, oh, 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 wait, hold on. So I here's the funny, toes. here's the funny thing. So is this TMI? I don't I know. Remember, I remember conceiving both of my children. Oh my God, that's TMI. Is it? Is, it? <laughs> yes. is that too much information? That is way I too much. I know exactly where I was and I remember the time. Stop. I remember. Stop it. Wow. And I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Yeah, that's way too much. Okay, next. Why is that a bad thing? It's a beautiful thing. Okay. I remember conceiving both of my children. I Anyways. remember. Okay, so Jesus. the funny thing is. Jesus. and TMI. TMI. Why? <laughs> Why is that bad? I'm not giving like details. Okay. I just remember, remember where I was. Yeah. Thank you, Terrell. No, it's not too much TMI. Come on. You know Next. you know where babies come from. All right. Anyway, so what I was going to say is, thank God for Adrian's feet. <laughs> I, Adrian has what I call the Tito's. So we all have big toes. Tito's toes. Tito's feet. Yeah. Brie likes to call them Flintstone feet. Tito's. I call them Tito's. So Adrian has the, Tito's. the big Tito, which is a big <laughs> toe. <laughs> the Tito. They're like and awesome feet. They're really cute. our feet, Adrian and I have have the same feet. Exactly. Like it's so crazy. Other than, and the same other than those feet. And the lips. Other than those feet. Lips and other than and his heart. Feet. He's blonde. Came out blonde like you and my mom. He eats like you. He eats like me. He's looks a foodie. Like me, acts but like he's me. his he heart is, is sweet. He is a cabral. No, I'm gonna claim I'm gonna claim his sweetness, his sweetheart. He's a cabral. Thank you. Hi, Uncle Jonathan. Hi, thank you so much. But, thank you so much. Um, but yeah, so but thank God for those feet. Yeah. Because I'll if mm mm. <laughs> mm-mm. Um, but that was Adrian. Yeah. And then things were we've we've and then been I got something through else a to lot. tell you. No, I'm just kidding. No, <laughs> nah, that's um, not possible. Here but either. we um but we. And some uh, people think he looks like you. He does. It's some sweet, sweet kind of way, I guess. Yeah, he does. There's. I've actually seen some pictures of me when I was younger. Yeah. That he looks like me. So. I hope Bryce I walks better. in so he can say hi to Uncle Foot. Yeah. Yeah. He doesn't um, have his phone, or I text him. But. Um. So. Did you talk to the kid that spoke bad about MJ in school? We had yeah, an entire issue with that situation, and yes, it was handled. It wasn't a great situation, and we'll actually talk about that maybe next time. No, it's not Bree's birthday. Well, Sunday. Sunday's her birthday. Um, but I think we'll talk about that on another. We on aren't another Dizzy day. D Ross. We're saying hi to people that we see, like you. Here we go. Um. It's right. hard. We weren't looking at all the. Oh, happy birthday oh, to your tell your mom. mother happy birthday. Um, <clears throat> okay, so then Adrian was here. And and what I was going to say is, oh, goodness, when Adrian was born, that was a rough time. Because, you know, say? Why was it a rough time? Well, because of his condition? His condition. And can I say you? Mm. Oh, no, I can't. All right, sorry. Well, there was two situations where... Adrian was in the emergency room, and so was Bree. But Bree's fine. Bree's good, right, Bree? Mm-hmm. Jeez. Um, sorry, I didn't know. That's okay. Um, but we but talk anyway, about Adrian. basically, what we I talk- wanted, but what I wanted to say was, it was a hard time because I had Adrian in the emergency room, and then Bree had to go in. <clears throat> um, in the Adrian emergency room. Adrian was not as in well. the emergency room. You're telling. Oh, me he was at the. He was Adrian at. Was Adrian was born, at the. Hold on. Adrian was born with a with a metabolic condition called gluteric acidi- acidema, GA one. Acidemia. Gluteric acidemia type one, which basically means GA one for short. Which basically means his body he's missing an enzyme, or his body cannot break down the animal proteins, specifically tryptophan and lysine. So that is why Adrian's vegetarian. If many of you noticed, he's vegetarian on all my food stuff. Um, his body can't break down tryptophan and lysine, which is primarily Mainly found in an animal, pro- in animal, animal protein, chicken, steak, all that stuff. So it was a very traumatic uh, time um, because when doctors tell you that something's wrong with your child, they kind of tell you all the bad things that could go wrong. And plus, you don't know what they're talking about. And you about. don't know what they're talking about because they're speaking to you as if you're... A doctor. a doctor, and they're talking all these terms, terminology. 
Um, so it was a very difficult, difficult time. This was just a lot. We didn't really understand what was going on. It's very rare. It's a rare, rare metabolic condition. Um, funny enough, it's, it's found in the Amish community. It's found when, uh, I don't even know all these terms to use. When, uh, newborn related. No, 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 strains. So a lot of questions were asked if Terrell and I were related. Yeah. They asked um, us if we. The uh, they asked us if we we are related. Yeah. Because it's that rare of a it's disorder. It's that rare of a disorder. We're not related at all. <laughs> we don't think so. But it's very rare. We're not. There's no way. And that put a lot of stress on our relationship, also. Um, yeah, that was, that was tough. A, that was a time where we also weren't really doing We've had well it rough, because man. the stress that came with that. Uh, you know, we were told Adrian would not, might not make it. Uh, he could have a shortened life. Yeah. He might not walk. He might not talk. Because it was something called uh, um, metabolic stroke, right? The first six years of his life were, we were on eggshells because <sighs> if he had a metabolic stroke, then that He'll could cause something else. Damage. It could cause brain damage. He w- It would lead for him again, not talking, not walking. He could be in a wheelchair. I mean, these are all things that we still are in the unknown for us. But, you know, by controlling his diet, which we did, you know, he is now nine years old. And I mean, when his sixth birthday, we were like, it was such yeah, it was a milestone good. for us because we were in the clear. He had not had a metabolic stroke for those six years. We were so thankful. Um, but it was, it was rough. It was yeah, it was, rough. it was a difficult time and just, it, it was, makes me tear up. yeah, I know. Right. Yeah. It was rough. And, um, there's a lot of strain on us. Yeah. We, we had some challenges, had Bree. Kind of rough. Even Bryce, when he was born, he went into NICU. Yeah, Bryce too. <laughs> Bryce's butt, and you were crying because it's not the way you envisioned it, going home without the baby. I had to leave Bryce at the, uh, hospital. at the hospital. I had to come home without my child, which was so difficult. And mm-hmm. I saw um, that, that footage too the other day. I hated that. I hate having to leave my child in NICU, but luckily at the time, my mother lived a few blocks from the hospital, and... Uh, we were there mm-hmm. all the time. I would not let them give my son formula. I had to nurse. So every two hours, literally, <laughs> every two hours, I had to nurse. So Bryce, we had that. And then Adrian had to be on special special formula. Special formula, special food. It's, it was just, you know. It's rough. It is what it is. It was, it was not an easy road. Um, you know, a lot of people have their babies and it's like. Yeah, it wasn't so. So blissful and. Uh, easy going and moments, but we had it. We had we had some rough times, but we got through challenges. It. We got through it though. Yes, we did. We got through it. And then and um, Adrian's doing amazing. And he's... yeah, he is. And it's funny because l- looking back, like the doctor there was saying how he, you know he can maybe have a slice of pizza, but not the whole thing, or maybe have a little this and maybe a little <laughs> ice cream. Not that he loves ice cream. No. Maybe. But, but Adrian's on a, on the lower end of the spectrum with that, so his body can actually handle a little more. And this is actually one thing I want to say to mothers out there. And I know you guys, you know, Are I just want to, yeah, I am Terry. <laughs> um, as a mom, like listen to yourself because you know your child better than anybody. Um, Adrian was supposed to be vegan. Most children with this disorder are vegan. Um, at one point, Adrian wasn't growing. He just, he wasn't, he wasn't gaining Mm -hmm. weight. He wasn't getting taller in height. He wasn't growing. And I knew that he could handle something else. He could handle a little bit more protein than they were allowing him to have. So we were, we had to measure his protein intake. He's only allowed 15 to 20 grams currently. He's only allowed 15 to 20 grams of protein a day. the cottage cheese? A day. So I knew he could handle a little more being vegan. So I, every month he'd get tested. And to see where his levels were at. God, man. And one month we took him in and his levels were so low that we had to bring him to the hospital. He had to be admitted. Um, and they basically watched me feed my child, which was oh, horrible. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Um, there you go. I took him home. We took him home. And for the next week they wanted us, the doctors wanted us to log everything that he ate. Well, I did that, but I decided on my own and I don't, I'm not a doctor and I'm not, so I don't know. I got to say like a tested it. I tested it. I gave my son a little bit, a little bit of eggs to see if his body could handle it. And when he got tested the next week, 
they're like his, his levels, levels are perfect, are perfect, right exactly where we need them where to be. We need them to be. I you were in Boston too. You went to Boston for a little. Like there was just some weirdness going, going on. You're going off track. Anyways, my point in the story is they told me that my child had to be vegan, but that wasn't working for him. His levels were never. They were always under. They were constantly under with the vegan diet. I knew, and I knew myself that my son could handle a little bit more. And I spoke to other doctors, like friendly doctors, and they said just try it. It's not gonna. Hurt. It's not gonna hurt him. He's not and gonna also have to a very reaction. Smart people like me. If he eats meat, he doesn't have an on-site reaction. That's not how it works. It's just if he has a lot of it during a course of time, it can build uh, toxins in his in his body that can cause the brain damage. Um, but I listened to myself because I knew my child could handle more. And so now he's vegetarian. He can have eggs. He can have cheese. And boy, does he love his cheese. So I get a little credit. Sure. Thank you. Because I was on this page. See, Brie always thinks that, I don't know, it's not that I'm in denial, but I don't know. I just, I love doctors, but sometimes they just don't. I just think with this, we, we you, left that uh, doctor. I know, what, no I, I know, that doctor. I know what I need to say. Hold on. It, it was that specific doctor and he just didn't want to hear us and he just wanted to do it by the book. And I get doing it by the book, but to me, every person is different and you got to do it case by case. Mm -hmm. And he wasn't willing to do that. We, we eventually left that hospital and now we're at UCLA, which is amazing. We love our doctor. He works with us. He listens to us. We listen to him. We work together as a team, and that's the most important thing. Got to be comfortable. You have to work together as a team with your with your doctor. Same thing with Bryce's di diabetes. I was not happy at the hospital I was at. I had to find a doctor that would work with me and want to do sense. things a little bit. You know, I'm more homeopathic. I just am, and a lot of people don't believe you can take care of diabetes that way I think otherwise and so I have our endocrinologist but I also have a homeopathic doctor that I work with and it's about having a team and finding what works for your child and and you and and yourself you know and I just want that's really the message I want people to to get is like to one trust your instincts know that you know your child better than anybody and listen sometimes and it's listen good to, to listen yourself. to your partner and your partner and your partner. Oh my God. Um, but what I wanted to say was, was <laughs> I remember with Adrian, what we did not Whoa. like was because it was such a rare disorder. She's a type two diabetic. Aww. It's, uh, it's not, I, I will not, say it's, like it's, it's manageable, but it is not easy. It's not easy. It is not easy. And I feel such a different way now for, for mm -hmm. it's, you guys get credit because it's, it's hard. Yeah, it's, it's hard. It's we see the frustration, you know, Bryce is 12. He's going into puberty and. You know, to go into puberty and just get diabetes is, you know, his moods are freaking all over the place. Yeah, it's, it's been pretty <clears throat> rough over here for me. Um, because <laughs> not just Bryce. Um, but what I was going to say is, uh, do you remember at the hospital with Adrian, the first hospital we were at? We didn't like that. It felt like our our, our son was a, a, a test, like a, an animal, like a rat. Because there was such rare information um, it was such a rare disorder and they had so much little information on it they didn't even have that when we, when they questions. would come in the room, there'd be like 15 people in there with notepads and just, it just didn't feel right. And it felt like he was a guinea pig. Like mm -hmm. they were going to try this and try that. And they just wanted to use them to get information. I just didn't, I didn't feel comfortable with that. And I don't like it. And they didn't have a lot of answers. No, We'd ask questions and they'd be like, oh, we don't know. There's not enough answers for that and not answers for this. And so we were like, I don't know. I don't know. Just got Yeah. Listen to your gut sometimes. But um Um, Sherry, your mom's homeopathic, let me see, and works in the medical field for thirty years. Um, can you if you she has anything uh, for diabetics, I would send it my way for sure. As well. best for our family for what i don't know food uh no i just I think know. i didn't say the answer or the question. the question i don't know we'll go back are we behind <clears throat> you might be behind it's can not I be a nanny for your kids <laughs> i don't know if you can hang um they don't need nannies up? anymore are we caught up but as a black man, it's not a good feeling to feel experimented on by medical providers. Too much history yeah. in this country of that kind of stuff. 
holistic and homopathic health is best. I agree. CG! What's up, CG? Who's that? I went to high school with CG. Oh, okay. Hi. CJ. Uh, Buenos Aires. Well, yes, CG. my mother wants to go there. That's one of her bucket list places. Uh, she's been all over the world, but that is one place that I would like to take her to. Um, Maybe for her 60th, if we can get out of here. <laughs> yeah, right? If we can fly. So... Can you come to Norway? I'm trying. Yeah, I'm Norway. trying. I was supposed you to be there this month. You were going to be there month. for your I was going to uh, be there for my it's spring break. We were going to go for my 40th. Um, who? Who was? Oh, I was definitely going. There you go. I was definitely you were going gonna to go. spend. You were not but going. But I wanted to take the kids for their spring break. See, see how but she then you had your do you show. See, do you see how she does? No, no, no. You said, you already said it. No, I definitely. I was going to go. She I said, was definitely going. You said I was going to go and I was going to take my kids. No, but. You said he it. I'm just, that, but I'm just you repeating what, I mean. what you guys heard. It. Did you guys hear that? Whatever. You see how she does me? The, whatever. You, know. you see how she does me? Okay. All right. Um, but then you had your show in May. That was the problem. Remember, we're figuring oh, out, like, was that, should we go? Was that in should May? Should we still go? A show in France yeah. in May or something? But then, hold up, Yvette, she's still here. But then her Yvette's sister-in-law here. her sister in law was ended up booking her flight the same week I was going. Which wasn't cool, but it's okay. Um, all right, so let's just speed them up, catch them up from Adrian. I mean, that's pretty much it. I mean, I mean, not pretty much it. There's a lot of ups and downs in this this uh, what do you call it? This journey. This we'll journey. Say. This journey. <laughs> this this book this of journey, love. Yes. This book of There's love that lot, we're writing. Um, a lot of ups and downs, and a lot of uh, detours. Yeah, I think though the biggest thing for me, Terrell, throughout the years that's been like I know, an go ahead. Issue is just you not having my back. Okay, so, so, I, that's what I was gonna say. We were, I was I on fear. Like biggest, I was on fear. Yeah. We had to talk about fear. Yeah, but I don't understand. So the fear of what? Like so losing... fear. It's fear. It's it's my upbringing and my beliefs <clears throat> and my feelings and my experiences that has caused challenges for me to step out of my comfort zone and because of that I wasn't able to do certain things that you expected me as a man or as a partner to do for you Mm -hmm. and it should have been to you that's like what's the big deal why is that so hard why can't you do this why can't you do that you're supposed to do this you're supposed to do that but for me I'm coming from a different angle and different experiences that have shaped me and it's it's harder like for you look Here's a perfect example. Yeah, it's cold. Why don't you go in the water? I don't like to swim. There you go. I swim. I don't know. Bryce swims. Adrian swims. Why don't you go in the water, Bree? Because I'm not a strong swimmer. Why not? Why can't you go in the water, though? I can help you. I, I, you see you see that I've taught Bryce how to swim and Adrian. your experience on Iyanla really help you? No. You know what? Yes, it Yes did. and no. It did. Yes and no. Iyanla helped me. See, here's the thing for me. Um... And this is with everything in life. I I take situations and experiences and whatever I can get from it, I take and I use. The rest of the stuff, I throw it away. You know, and there was a lot. If there was five things on a yarn and I only got one good thing out of it, I'll take that one thing and, and the four things that were eh, for TV or not the way it was supposed to be or twisted and turned... I can't control that, you know? So, uh, I don't remember the show. I don't even know if I watched it. Um, but I know it wasn't a hundred percent accurate. Well, they made it about It's a Jackson. TV show. It's a TV show. And that's and the title that's, itself was, but that's what bothers me. Jackson and that's, something. that's, I had some, I had some things that what bothered me about that. What was the title of it? Growing up Jackson or something. I don't know. Yeah, the title but, episode was Growing Up Jackson, see, here, and that wasn't here. What I'm gonna break the this. episode was. A, Let me break the this episode down. was supposed to be about our relationship, and Terrell mm-hmm. specifically went in saying he did not want it to be about a Jackson, him being a Jackson or anything like that. But of course, but you, it got and this is this is the problem. This is what Great. I was trying to explain. This is the problem with the Jacksons the Next Generation. This was the problem with the Yanla. We always go into these things like I don't need to do all this stuff Oops. to be. I don't, I don't like doing stuff, Jackson this, Jackson that, you know, because I've been called Michael's nephew or Tito's son all, my whole life. Like, you know, I don't I don't need to go on TV and be called that. Um, 
I was more interested in me, not Jackson Terrell, just Terrell, you know? Um, and what, what was interesting is, and I remember this, even on the show, she talks about Jackson. Like, you're so into Jackson. You're so into Jackson, and you need to focus on Terrell, right? But it's, if you look at all the promos for the thing, it's always Jackson. Yeah, it's always it Michael, Jackson, Jackson. Ja it's always Jackson. And it's like, you want me to not... You want me to be me. You want me to just find me and, and not be Jackson. But all you do is just push. Promote the Jackson. You promote Jackson. Right. You promote Jackson. So where am I in this? Right. Like you, and she didn't even say my name right. Which, whatever, a lot of people don't. But that was whatever. But it's like, you said Jackson just fine. You can learn how to say Terrell. But it's just always Jackson. Jackson, Jackson, Jackson. <clears throat> yeah. And I get it. Like, people care about Jackson. They may not care about me. Fine. But I'm just still, where's me in this? Yeah. And that's hard for me to adjust. And those are things you don't have to deal with. No, but but being around you, I have to deal with. Now I'm a gold digger, and I'm only with you for your now name you do. and all that bullshit, which she took from the re she took from the reality well, show and brought that into Ianla Fix My Life, and you know it's like. So what happens there? You know, you're with him for this and that, and you're a how are you a stay at home mom? Yeah, I am a stay at home mom, but that is something we discussed. We discussed that would be best for our children. His mother was a stay at home mom. They're stay-at-home moms. Like, that, in, in the world we live in, in our little circle, 80% of them are stay-at-home moms. It's not a rare thing here in L.A. And that's a job. And it's a job within itself. Like, so what if I'm a stay-at-home mom and I'm home with my kids, you know? Doesn't mean uh, I'm, I'm lunching and shopping and doing all that. <clears throat> I'm actually a very hands-on mother. But what I did like... That's your part where you're supposed to say. She you're very. Is. No, you are. You are. You, you, know. you are very hands on. But I always say that. Um, what I did take from the, the Iyana thing was when she drew those diagrams and I saw all the layers. You yeah. Know, I took that from that because I believe that's I believe that's accurate. I think the best thing I liked about the Iyana thing was I loved the therapist that she connected me with. Beforehand. After. After. So Did you after talk to the her show, before and after or no, no, just after? after the show, after we did the show, we got like six therapy sessions with somebody else. I still have and, one, by the way. Um, I saved one. She was awesome and she made me see things differently within those sessions and actually made me start working on myself in a different way because I think at some point I forgot about Brie and I was just mommy Brie. And I kind of yeah. forgot to do and you also my forgot, own stuff. Yeah, you forgot to be partner Brie, too. And I probably, and I did no, forget. No, I did. No, I did. probably, you I did. did. I forgot to be partner Brie. I just became mommy Brie. And that was like, I was like this. Like, mom, 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 mom. PTL, mom, PTL, mom. Like, it was just about the kids. And she kind of got me back on track. And like, what do you want to do with your life? And where do you want to be? And so that was probably the best thing that I liked. Yeah. But Eon, like, she never checked in with us after that. Like, she's never... Well... She was supposed to. I don't know. I'm not going to... No, the thing is, is that it, at the end of the day, all of these things that you see on television is entertainment. Totally. And people... The hard thing is, is people see things and they... You know, they can edit anything. They can edit anything. They can make you look bad. They can make you look great. They can make me look great. They can make her look bad. They can make her look good. They can make me look bad. They can do anything. You know? I just saw a comment, why are the Jacksons so pretty? That you guys, they are all pretty. <laughs> you guys are. I'm sorry. I didn't really interrupt, but. That's all right. You guys are. You I don't have know your if grandmother's. That's a compliment or not. It is. You guys all have a. I guess it's better than your grandmother's that way. cheekbones and everything. Um, but uh, what I was going to say is, is is that I just take. I just take whatever I can take, the positive and the negative. I just. And that that's the thing. It's like when that hit for you, Brianna, you, I'm sure you were hurt. Because you don't like the way you're portrayed. And you coming from your world is like, I'm going to confront it and I'm going to speak up. Mm -hmm. My world, it's like, I'm used to that. People talk all the time. Keep it moving. So, Are you talking about Yonla or the Jackson anything, Show? Anything. Jackson Show, Yonla. So two different worlds. And my approach was, 
I've got to keep moving. I'm not going to let these people slow me down. You were like, hell no, that's not going to go down. That's not yeah, how I am. Okay, but there were things with the reality Uh-oh, show. Oh, finger. This is the finger. There were things that's with level the reality one right there. show. <laughs> level, yeah. When well, you get the there finger going. There were things with the reality show. Unless she tries to hold it back. Go ahead. There are things with the reality show. I love you. Are you done? Am I allowed to? Are you done? Say that. There were things with the reality show that were happening that I didn't like and that you should have stuck stuck up for. Like there were things that were being portrayed. Um, I'm just gonna fucking say it. There were things Ooh. that there were things that we need to start a jar. For the fuck. There might words. be there might be children watching this, Bree. I'm sorry, it's real life. I swear. You gotta get you gotta let them know because there's probably I mothers swear. out there watching with their children. Look, you gotta let I them know that. I swear. You gotta let them know that this is you know. It's reality. I I swear. I Bri, do. You all interrupt the time. me constantly. Oh, maybe I'm interrupting you. Then. But Bri right, interrupts Terrell constantly. We interrupt each other all the time. We're we working speak on that. Over each other. We're working on that. Um. Okay. I lost my train of thought. <laughs> no, you're talking about the Jackson show. There was stuff. That oh, you there was stuff. There was stuff that was being done to make, you know, TJ and Francis look a certain way, and then there was stuff that was done to make us look a certain way. And what was frustrating is that there was stuff being done to make them look like this perfect couple that things that they do that we do, but they would, they wanted us to look like they made us look bad. Like Like, like, they made us look bad. Like our anniversary was actually during taping and And they didn't, didn't, they didn't do anything for us, but their anniversary was not during taping. And they, they freaking made a whole th- episode on it. But because it's it's like they had characters. They, they totally were, had characters. The, and I, TJ and that's was the like point. the family. Like, people don't understand. Like my, I was a character. TJ was TJ's character was like the family <clears throat> man. Like does everything. Blah 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 blah. My thing or with you, we were the couple that's going through it. I was supposed to be broke and going broke through and bankrupt, bankrupt. And all I wanted was your money, which didn't make sense because <laughs> I had just purchased a new car, so I don't know why I'm bankrupt. And um, I don't know. It's just, and that's what bothered me. And it was, Taj it was, was just that scene. Huh? I gotta get my scene. Okay. So that scene, <laughs> before we even filmed, we were talking. The, the whole point of the show is we wanted to show people that we're normal. We have bills. We have to pay bills just like everybody else. We have to do this and do that. We wanted to show people. Don't, don't like go. Don't on go on forever. Yeah. We just wanted to show people that we were normal and not you know this whole Jackson thing. You know we're just we're normal just real. people. And so when they asked me to do that, like, you know, today we want to show them, you know, you paying your bills. So I was going through my bills and paying. And then when I saw the edit, it was like freaking the little subtitles, like Terrell's stressed out and financially <laughs> this. And he's considering bankruptcy and and he went shopping with Taj and he's in charge of planning the whole camping trip. And it's causing like financial stress. And yeah. now he can't handle Brianna. I'm like, huh? Yeah, it was crazy. I'm like, what is what is all this? But I'm I think that's, you know, that was and, just... And people don't see that, but I don't care. I don't care. Whatever. Y'all can think whatever you want to think. Um, but with that being but said, I mean, like it, was a, that. it was a learning experience. And it was a learning experience in so many ways. I mean, True Colors came out on all sides. It was tough. Um, it was rough. But very rough. I think I think it was a... At the end of the day, I think it was a great opportunity. A missed opportunity. Because I think we had... A platform, and I think we could have did something really good with it. But at the so end too. of the day, it it just like everything else, it became about it. It became Drama. everything. No, it became Ugly. it became everything that wasn't supposed to be. It was supposed to be about us and it being about, about living in this whole Jackson thing. And it it's the they they fell for the it. trap. Yeah, totally. By the end of, by the end of the last episode, all the questions were like, was what was it like going to Neverland. What was it like being my... Okay, like, so I'm seeing so questions. Much. I'm What's sorry not questions? to cut you off, but yes. Yes, Terrell was a producer, but sometimes explain that. You're not... So always, I was an executive producer. But yeah. So this is how it worked. I won't be long. This is how it worked. Before we shot... We shot the, the first episode. We shot a, a, a pilot, right? To see if they wanted to pick up the episode. They wanted to pick up the episode, but they wanted to do... A rush, like they wanted it quickly, like in the next six months, which was a lot. Mm-hmm. So the very first episode, we saw like three, four different cuts, different edits, and we we could tweak this, take this out, change that, blah blah blah. Right. So by the time the first episode came out, it was good. By the time the last episode, right, 
So we saw maybe three, four edits before it first aired, episode one. By the time we got to episode six, we were watching it for the first time with the world. So that's how we would get... So they weren't getting... We were learning. Even though they were producers, they weren't we giving them... We saw it the them, same time you guys saw it. They weren't giving them the respect or the... Yeah, it was just... What they... Yeah, the network And I think that was done on... I think it was done on it, purpose. It is... It is what it is. But see, that's the difference between you and me. Because during that time, and that's what I was getting at, during that time, I would have spoke up. And I would have put my foot down. Mm-hmm. And I would have been like, this is the way that it's supposed to be. This is what you told me it was going to be. We either change it or I'm not doing it anymore. I think at that That's point, where I would have. I had tapped out. Up. I think I. Oops, sorry. I think at that point I had tapped out, and I didn't care because once I recognized what it was about, I didn't care anymore. I checked out. Please let Terrell speak because he rarely does. He talks all the time. I talk all the time. What? What? I missed it. He's always talking. Seems <laughs> to be how they treat all the time. Oh, okay, yeah. Man. It's okay. It's not. It's all right. Yeah, it's controlled, but. It was but a it's learning, okay. It was a learning experience. It's okay. It's. I think what's hard about it is is the ignorance. I don't want to call it. That's not nice. I shouldn't say ignorance. I think what's not good is is there's people that don't really know how it is. They don't get the truth. They think it's the truth and it's not the truth. So I shouldn't have said ignorant. I don't mean to call anybody but ignorant. I don't, but, but people also- get fooled. And people get fooled and they start talking mess that they don't know about. And that's what's hard. But I didn't know, I didn't know how things work either. I mean, like I wasn't taught, Yeah, I wasn't taught, like I was told to have a camera on, you know, the camera's going to be here, you're going to be mic'd up. I didn't know that once that mic was on me, every word that came out of my mouth was now being recorded. So there were moments where I wasn't even in the scene, but I'd be talking on the phone or something and they would be recording me. I'm too apologetic. I'm sorry. No, I'm just kidding. That's funny. I don't think you know that until you're in it. We're trained. Um, Let's go back to these. I have to go make lunch. Okay. Maybe Where we, we can... Um, I don't know. There's some people that wanted to come in. I don't know how you do that. Okay. Um. <clears throat> so, I don't know. That's just our thoughts on it. What made you guys go on the Elon Musk show? I didn't, um, I didn't really want to do it, to He did be not want to do I it. I did it for Brie. We were going, after the reality show, that changed a lot for our relationship because I didn't feel like Terrell had my back in it and he kind of allowed the producers to do what they want and he, I felt like he wasn't standing up or sticking up for our family. What was right. It was frustrating. What was right and what was wrong. Um, it caused, Can I say my last It is? definitely caused friction within the family, uh, the I immediate family. Can I poke? Go ahead. I think it was hard and unfair because Brie thought I had more power than I did. And there were things that were cut off in my storyline, my family, that I thought were unfair. And Brie thought I had more power than I did, but I didn't have much power. And like I said, a lot of the stuff was shown to me or kept kept away from me until it was aired. Go ahead. That's all I want to say. Go ahead. Floor is yours again. Iyama. Why did we do a Iyama? Were you just talking about the reality show? Because I'm not gonna di- I'm gonna disagree with you if you were. I don't care if you had power or not. If something's wrong, if something's wrong, mm-hmm. you say something. If something's not being done right, you speak up. And if someone is attacking my character and making me look away, that's not true. As famous. my partner, you should vocal vocal vocal. Vocalize. vocalize vocalize that instead of shutting down and not saying anything you're you're you and know what you didn't have my back and you know that what? caused a huge problem for our relationship and that's where i was talking about growing up and having fears and the way that i handled things so but, but, once again go ahead. once again it goes back to the way she grew up and the way i grew up i i did not have my voice and it should have been like you would look at anybody else and that's an easy thing for them to do. But for me, because of my experiences growing up, I did not have my voice and I did not want to have confrontation and I did not know how to speak up for myself or my family. And that was a problem. Yeah. You might, she said it, you might have had more power than you realize, which is you do. You would. Yes. Well, you know what? You didn't take the opportunity. Here's what I will say. I will never know because I never, 
I never spoke up for myself. Oh. Your brother used his power, that's for sure. TJ went in and used his go. power to his advantage. You should have done the same thing. I respect thing. the transparency. We always we keep it real. Yeah. I think pretty much. I get you, Terrell. Thank you. Um, if the show if the sh is the show the reason why Brianna and the rest of my, the family spots at your concert in Paris. Brianna was on the left and Francis on the right. I do not know. Oh, no. They sat us there. <laughs> no. I didn't even. Oh, uh, at the concert. I do know. Francis on one side, Paris, I was on the yeah. other side. Um, no, that was not done <laughs> intentionally, I don't think. I think it's just the, I don't know, just I the best I think they just sat us, uh, sat us there, but it's okay. Um, she can stay in her lane. I'm good. You have Yes, not, she I, is right, but in the time she said something. I, I have, I don't know what they're saying. You might say some real things. I don't know. I haven't seen the show. Uh, but in that time, she said right. some brutal things to Terrell. You're, oh, I would love to know what I said same. to Terrell. You're and you are the same. Bree needed you to know. help her. Exactly. I know. It's okay. We live and we learn. Is Bryce still modeling? Yes, yes he is. He, well, well, not right, right now, now. No, because no one's modeling. But um, yes, he is still modeling and acting as well as Adrian. Adrian's yes, creative prosperity. and acting as well. They were going to find some way to portray drama on the show. It's the downside of reality TV. Yes. yes. And and you know what? What what bothered me about the show was there was enough drama. There was enough drama there already. There was enough obstacles. There was enough challenge already between things that my brothers and I have experienced that I don't know why they had to create it the way they did. There was enough there, you know, and um, they should have just let it be what it, what it should have been. And it would have been better, I think. Uh, this is why oh, I respect I you guys. Here. You are not trying to paint this pretty picture. You are keeping it real. We try. Nice. Hi, Aaron Jackson. Brie, you are so cool and nothing like they portrayed you on the Jackson reality show. See that, Brie? Not everybody hates you. Just five people. Um, <laughs> thanks so much for making uh, see it. My, my day. I've been working every day. It caused a rip between the brothers 3T. Um, it, it, it did. I'll just be honest. It's It hasn't been... The same since. It has not been the same since. Keep it real. Being Keep transparent. It, right. it, it is what it is. Um, um, you said, I don't want the kids to grow up to be like Terrell, but it's all goof. Oh, some of the bad things that I said. Um, and I, I, I did say that. There are times that I said I don't want them to be like Terrell because Terrell has done some things which I won't discuss here. But there are times that Terrell hasn't been respectful in a certain way or... Said some I ain't all that said, bad, Bree. You said, made me sound like I'm terrible. Said some things that I don't think I want my children saying to a woman. I don't know what you're referring to, but I'm not and perfect. You didn't and see I those probably... side. You didn't see that side because they only portrayed my probably, side. Hey. Hold on, you're cutting me off. Go ahead. They only portrayed me saying things, but you never heard or saw Terrell saying anything bad to me because he was the Jackson in the show. I was not. Um, but there are things that I'm gonna. That have I'm been gonna said. say I'm not perfect. No, for sure. I'm no, but that's what I meant. I'm but I'm just explaining. That's what I meant. I'm not saying I don't want. You know, there are, there are things that he has said and done that I don't want my kids doing to to women or people. But that's but that's both sides. For sure. But I'm not but like don't gonna... don't make me seem like I'm. I'm just speaking the truth, Terrell. I mean, I can really say. I mean, I can tell them the things that you've you, said. But I don't know what you're gonna say. Gonna go but I'm not terrible. Okay, I think your father and uncle were a highlight on. The show too. That's so funny. I like you guys. You're down to earth. Thank you. Yes, and Priya is really a nice lady. What am I looking at now? Ladies here. Real than any. What I'm looking at now is more more real than any reality show. The problem is that what I'm looking at now is not what many want to see on TV. They just we want get the it. drama. Yeah. But. And you know what? If we did this, if we did this over time, I'm sure there'd be some kind of drama because we're two separate people. Yeah. Having two separate things, but it's life, and I'm okay with that. You just don't have to, uh, you don't have to create it. There's enough. There's enough stuff already in the world. Is that the code to get in the house? <sighs> yes. Um. Okay. All right. Um. Let's take. Bring her out. I'm gonna go because my mom's ladies here. No, 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 no! Please, not the dogs. <laughs> okay. Ugh. So I'm gonna go. We'll All right, continue Brie. This it was wonderful. Day. Thank you, Brie. I'm gonna stay Hi. for like ten minutes. Can yeah. you, can you, can Grab you, the dog. Oh, 
Poppy. <laughs> oh, All no, right. no, no. All right, bye, guys. I'm out. It's about bye, to get crazy guys. in here, and I don't want to. Put your Come mask on. on. I told y'all. Bryce, <laughs> peace. Peace. All right, bye, you guys. It was fun. We'll do this again. I'm staying for like 10 minutes. No, no, no. <laughs> this is when he needs to be taught. I'm going to go I'm gonna go teach him right now. All right. I'll be honest with you now. All right, bye, you guys. This is the after show. We'll, the after we'll, do, we'll do more talks. Real talks. Real talks. Real tarot talks. All right, guys. How, how'd that go? My phone. Yep. Don't leave this behind. Hell no. We don't know who's calling. Just kidding. No, you ain't. <laughs> All right, guys. All right, so let's see. I'll stay. Are you guys bored? Don't worry. Okay. Yes, every couple argues all over the world, but that that's that I don't know if you guys consider that arguing. I wasn't really arguing. Um, okay. Where are we at? I don't know if I'm caught up or behind. I think I'm caught up. Okay. How you guys doing? Uh, any questions about what we were discussing earlier? Or we could talk about crazy love because it is one year. Or we could talk about digital eight. Whatever you want. You know what? I don't, I don't want to sound like I don't like dogs. I don't mind the dogs. But these dogs... Um, Brianna's mom has two dogs as well. So now there'd be three dogs in the joint and they take over and they took over the house. This is my space and this is all I have right now. So once, once I lose this, I lose it all. So I gotta, I gotta at least hang on to this because I've already, I'm, they're easing their way into the bed and I don't like that. So I gotta keep my, my studio. All right. What do we got? Um, I'm looking for questions. I should do a channel. We are going to do some stuff. We're going to work on it. Uh, you watch YouTube videos. Yes, I watch YouTube videos. Did you enjoy Teddy vs. Babyface? Yes, what I did see of it, I liked. I enjoyed. I think they're both incredible. Um, obviously, and both have inspired me a lot to want to be a music producer and in this industry. As much as I don't like it at times, I love creating. Um, is this my man cave? Yeah, I guess so. This is my man cave, my little studio. This is my my sanity. What have you been working on behind you? Oh, my, do you mean gear? I think, I don't know. Um, just computer. I don't know if you mean gear. So if you reply, I don't want to go on about gear if, you, if that's not what you meant. Um, I think is the most underrated 3-2. What do I think is the most underrated 3-2 song? That is a good question. And I don't know. Uh, hmm. I'd have to think about that one. I, I I am bad at answering questions, I guess. Let me think. I don't know. <laughs> um... I don't know when I'm coming to the UK or to Paris because right now everything is shut down and it's hard to schedule things when you don't know what's going to happen in the future. Um, <laughs> tease me. Words without meaning. Did you cut your own hair? No. Brianna, Bryce cut it originally, and then Brianna cut it. And I don't care, because it grows back. Whatever. <sighs> no, 
about Wade. I, I don't know. I don't. It's disappointing. I don't really care to comment on it, except it's all garbage and disappointment. Um, heaven is so underrated. Thank you. It's underrated for sure. Why no tattoos? For me, I I just don't think I would look good in with tattoos, and I don't think I can handle the pricking, the needle. But I, I wouldn't look good with tattoos. I, I whatever. Um, how to have a deep talk with someone. Gave me bald spot. Be careful. Yeah, I know. I know all about that. Uh, when is there going to be a duet with you and another artist? I do not know. I, I, I want to answer questions, but I don't see any. I think Stubborn, the best to that song is so smooth. I think you meant beat. This one is so smart. It makes me want to two step with the drink in my hand. Huh? Uh oh. Am I stressed out about anything? Um. I uh, just trying to trying to be better for my family. That's all. Trying to have a better uh, and not that we're not that we're bad in this household. I mean, we're just like everybody else. There's a lot that goes on, but I just, you know, I just want it to be better. That's all. And it's, and it's, it's difficult because we spoke about earlier Bryce with his diabetes and then also going through his puberty and things and just the situation itself. And then his problems that he was having dealing with the school, it's just a lot on him and then the stuff with Bree and I, and then the stuff of all of us in here, it's, it's been challenging. But it's not bad. It's not terrible. I'm just trying. It's actually, in a way, it's nice so we can all work on things and get better and learn how to communicate and talk and have patience because Bree has no patience. None. Bree has zero patience. She has maybe like one out of ten patience. Um, Tito's still in Japan. No, he is not. I spoke to him yesterday. He is in Vegas. Best of all time is the best MJ tribute song. No competition. Thank you very much. Have I ever met Prince the singer? I believe I have. Probably when I was younger, but I don't remember. Unfortunately. Favorite Prince song. Have you been... Have I seen him live? I did see him live um, at the Forum. And my favorite Prince song would probably be I Want to Be Your Lover. Um, that's probably my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean you didn't have a voice when you were younger? Um, not just when I was younger, I think just growing up, it was difficult for, for myself to speak up and stand up for myself. That's what I meant by not having a voice. I think that's what you mean. Voiceover work. I would do voiceover work. That would be fun. Oh boy. Um, do I have a conflict with my friend Louis? I don't think so. Oh, do you have a contact? No, there should be no conflict with Lou. I reached out to him the other day, so there should be no conflict. Um, new music coming soon, yes. Would I consider having more children? I um I wanna have I wanted to have a baby girl. I don't know if it's gonna happen. And I wouldn't mind that. I love I love kids. I love being a parent. But it is a lot of work, and it's almost like starting it all over again. But I would not mind having a um, a baby girl. But I'll expect that to happen anytime soon. Mm. Sometimes 
sorry. Okay. I'll answer a couple more. Neverland was amazing. We were talking about that the other day. I wish my kids uh, would have had the chance to go there when it was magical. Um... MJ is my favorite artist. Oh, favorite MJ song. That's, you guys ask me the questions that are so hard to answer. I don't. That's tough. Jackson song is tough too. Maybe shake your body for the Jacksons. But that has a lot to do with the the concert because it's like the last song they would do, and I don't know. Um, favorite country you have visited? I uh, like the UK. Well, I'm gonna name like a lot of them, but the UK, Italy, France, all of them. They're all special. I enjoy them all. Um. Uh, when is Taj going? On? Oh, Taj is Taj going live today? I don't know. All right. How old was I when I wrote my first song? I think I was uh, maybe like six, seven, eight. It probably wasn't any good, but at least I was trying. All right. I'll answer a couple more guys because I feel like I'm not getting any questions. Uh, favorite song from the Bad Album. Uh, bad Album. Probably Man in the Mirror. That's bad, right? Yeah. Fear Moscow is my favorite. Nice. It's a great song. It's funny because I remember being in... Uh, I think we were in Japan. We were in Japan. And I remember my uncle telling us that he wrote a, he wrote a great song uh, yesterday. And that song turned out to be uh, Stranger in Moscow. So I always think of that when someone mentions that song. Oh man, David Gates. You know, it's hard for me to name my favorite when it comes to music because I love so much music. Um, everything I own, I like from David Gates and Bread. If, <sighs> Aubrey, a lot of great songs. Um, okay. What was I doing before this Instagram Live? I was helping... Bryce with his homework, his math homework. And before that, I was making breakfast. That's what I was doing. Uh, you're not answering any. I'm trying. Uh, maybe I'm not. Maybe make your own questions up. I don't know. First song you ever wrote. First song I ever wrote, uh, I think it was like... Um, all My Loving, All My Loving, uh, and the song called I'm Sorry. I wrote those around the same time. Uh, guys keep asking me questions that are hard for me to answer. I like Friends. I never really watched Buffy. What is the newest song on Crazy Love? What is the newest song on Crazy Love? Uh, I don't know what that means. The favorite questions are... I probably can't answer, answer those because I'm not good with that. I like too much. There we go. What have you learned in life? All right. I can answer that one. Um... Here comes Bryce. Yes, son. Are you talking to him? Yes, I'm, I'm about to answer a question. You guys can um, give me... Yes. You know Travis Scott is in Fortnite? I did not know that. Like, I just got a notification on my iPad that he's in Fortnite. There you go. Okay. You I okay? Bryce? Huh? Yeah. You are playing basketball? No? I was riding a bike. Oh, there you go. Dada, 
can Bryce maybe get his video games back to play oh, for Travis, Travis Scott? He's yeah, ask so mommy. cool. Ask mommy. Okay. Bryce is very smart. He has he has Adrian ask um about video games and things for Bryce. But anyways, what have I learned in life? I learned that we are all um a work in progress. I learned that you have to have forgiving forgiveness and understanding. Okay. I'm sorry. Cut off. Right when I was about to get into it. But I'll say this and then I'll I'll say this and then I'll I'll bounce. But um what have I learned? So basically what I was going to say is I, I, I learned that you have to have forgiveness and you have to have understanding and that we are all a work in progress and that um, things change and we change and um, it's not easy, but it's also not impossible. And I think uh, if we, if we just believe in ourselves and, and if we, come from a place of love really come from a place of love and really try to understand people and and things then um i think you'll get further in life and there there's definitely going to be obstacles there's definitely going to be disappointment but that's all a part of it but you got to also realize that some of those things are, are there because either you're going through something or they're going through something and you know it's a challenge you know um I went through a lot this these past couple of years. Actually, probably this whole relationship with Bree and I haven't. Looking back, I wish I, I wish I had. I wish I, uh, how do I say it? I wish I were different. I wish I were different, in in certain certain ways. There's things that I love about myself, but there's things that I wish I can do that I just did not feel comfortable doing and I made excuses and you know I just didn't feel comfortable doing it because it was either fear or it was out of my comfort zone but it, it's stuff that looking back I regret and I and I just you know unfortunately it has shaped where I am today and where my family is today but it's not terrible it's just it is what it is. However, saying that, I believe that it can't it's not something that can't be fixed and it's not something that where it's too late and it's done and there's you know, it's done and or anything. I'm not just talking about my family. I'm just, I'm just saying when you when you look back and you understand where people come from, you have to come from a place of love and and when you have that, you can learn to forgive people and um understand where they're coming from and it makes it easier because people aren't perfect and um you know if you if you expect people to be perfect then when it's your turn to make a mistake you're going to need them to forgive you and um cuz you will you will make mistakes we all will and you're going to you're going to ask it, um that situation or that person for forgiveness and understanding. And, you know, if you're going to ask it, then you should also be able to give that. That's what I'm saying. But it's all, there's boundaries. So there's boundaries to it, you know, but just come from a place of love. Um, and you have to respect, you have to respect and be smart enough to know that people go through things and and the things that I go through are not the same things that Brie goes through and vice versa. What she experiences is not what I experience and vice versa. So things will come easier to me. Things will come easier to her. And it's just about understanding and working together and being a partnership. Um, That's what makes it work. But that's something that's uh, being worked on, I guess. I don't know. This is uh, definitely, uh, it's funny because this is the 14 years ago is when we, this is our anniversary day, but I don't know what we call it now, but um, it's been crazy, 
Crazy Love. And that's funny because Crazy Love was released a year ago. But it's been crazy. It's been crazy. And what I was going to say is that I don't think she could have predicted or I could have predicted that it would go this way. And um, it was just it was just yesterday. Um, I was outside riding bikes with the boys. And she had um came she came outside and i was just looking at her and I, and i was just saying can you believe we have two kids and she's like yeah yeah but it was just so weird like cuz i was i was still back in 2006 i was just thinking 2006 when i first met her and who would have thought that it would lead to all this but it did i don't regret any of it um i'm happy i love her i love my boys and um i'm just I'm in a place where I'm just trying to work on myself and um, make make it better for me. Because if I make it better for me, I make it better for my family. Um, that's all I got, peeps. I'm probably rambling on. I'm not going to play this back because I'm going to hate it and I'll probably take it down. But maybe, maybe uh, somebody will get something from this. So I'm going to keep this on um, and I'll keep it up. I won't keep it on. I'll keep it up for you guys. And um, that's it. That's all I got. All right. You guys be safe. Take care. And um, just be just be forgiving. Be forgiving. Um, be loving. And understand, you know, it's like I, I tell Brie this. People do their best. People do their best. Um, and sometimes the best isn't isn't good enough, but it's their best. And, and you got to you got to give them credit for at least trying you know, um, their best may not be good enough, but that doesn't mean that it can't get to a point. And I'm not talking about myself, by the way, I'm just saying in general, you know, so disappointments, all of that stuff, we all do our best, you know, and I'm sure one day my boys will grow up and, and look back at, at the way I parented or the things I've done and they'll learn, they'll make adjustments and they won't do it this way and they won't do it that way. But that's all we can do. We do our best and um, we try to get better. All right. So with that, I'm saying I love you guys. Stay healthy. Stay safe. Keep your butts at home and I'll catch you next time. All right. Take care.